Welcome to our experiment for chemistry 1002, project number two, we're making a lava lamp. Your lava lamp will be hosted with... Joshua Cables. Jennifer Juno. And Ray. All right, so now we're gonna start with what we actually have. We have alcohol soap, just one pack. Some cooking oil, two liter bottle, some water, and food coloring. Right. We first start off with pouring one third of the bottle. Let me know this top. Then you fill up the rest of the bottle with water. Don't try this You're at good. home. You're good. Good. Don't try this at home without <laughs> kids. Don't do this at home. Do it unless you have a parent around. <laughs> then you take your food food coloring, and food you coloring. yeah, and you drop as many as you would like. Don't want to throw. There's about eight. About eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Do one more, cause I'm OCD and it's gonna kill me. <laughs> Ten. Okay, ten drops. Ten then you drops. take your Alka Salser tablet. You break it in half into many pieces. And then drop it in. And then you have your lava lamp. So basically what's going on is the water and the oil never mixed the way it's supposed to because they're two different densities. And, um, but the oil was able, the, the food coloring drop was able to mix in with the oil to make the little bubbles you see here. The alka seltzer with its reaction of acid um, is making it move around and now you have a very cool looking lava lamp. Thank you. Look how nice it came out. Yeah, it came out real, real nice, y'all. Nice. I like that. I know. Look at the oh, bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, we saw so, it. I actually YouTubed how they would come out, but I didn't think ours was going to come out this nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time you do something, it just never come out like it right. does in the video. So there you have it. Thanks for watching our lava lamp experiment.